All right, hello everyone. So today is the 23rd of September, Thursday, and it's currently 9.03 a.m. So look, yesterday, let's take a look at what happened yesterday. Yesterday, I gave some astrological hours. I've got gold in front of me at the moment. And yesterday's hours were 9 a.m. So we had the 9.20, 9.30. I said, look out for 10 o'clock as well. That's going to be also influential. So from 9.30, we would have had an action to 10 o'clock. And I said yesterday, we're going to go in a flow, right? So the market's going to flow tomorrow. And then um, we said, and then what did I say? I said, look out for... New York, 4.11, 4 p.m. 11, just bear with me. And then, yeah, we should close the night at 9.56 p.m. Uh, and 11.12 p.m. My time, GMT plus three. So let's take a look at what happened. This is gold in front of me, right? So this is, da, 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 that's 9 a.m. there, okay? So 9.20, 9.30, market makes the top. Let me just make this a little bigger so you guys see market makes the top comes down here that's your four o'clock bar okay it's three o'clock four o'clock bar market makes a move up okay until nine o'clock okay nine o'clock bar there and then we find ourselves where at the bottom here at 956 okay and 1055 the market closes here and that's your 11 o'clock bar all right so that's where the market closed off and that's where we're at today. Now, today, I just finished off doing today. Now, we should have kept an eye out for the three o'clock bar. That's four o'clock, actually, from opening onwards at today. Sorry, let me just turn on to today's page, 2.42. All right. And in fact, 1 a.m. All right. So 1 a.m. when the market opened is that bar. So we should have been down until 4 a.m., uh, yeah, 4 a.m., 5 a.m. We should have been down to 5.19, actually. All right, 5.19. And that's 5 o'clock bar there. And the market has gone up a little bit. Now, what we've got to look out for today. So forget about this one because we're late for that one. So that's not going to work out for us. So today, what we've got to look out for is the 10 o'clock bar. Okay, so until 10 o'clock, 10.13, you might have a push down. 10 13 10 30 in fact okay uh and then so this is probably be a bit of a boom push down because we've got um yeah mr bad guy over there so that's going to be 10 27 10 13 so the market should make a sudden move all right wherever that sudden move goes to depends on what you're trading okay so this is gold and this will probably work for silver as well but um let's see we're on we're on SP 500 here. It might not work for this one. Um, and this is Euro dollar. Let's come back here. Where are we? Let's do this. And this is Euro dollar. Okay. There we are. So, you know, be mindful what you're trading. For some, it'll be up. For some, it'll be down. Okay. And this is Bitcoin. Where are we with Bitcoin? We're here with Bitcoin as well. As you can see, this also went in a flow yesterday because I said the market's going to flow tomorrow. And that's exactly what it did. Just kept this flow. Now, uh, let's get back to gold. All right, because that's my main thing. Come on. That's gold. So I'm going to look out for 1240. I'm going to look out for New York opening 417 p.m. So 4 p.m. bar, 12 p.m. bar, my time and 10 o'clock in the morning my time so 10 a.m 12 p.m 4 p.m and then what we should do is end up it will end up at a place where the value is going to be attractive so we might have a down day for gold today uh, and that and then we should close at 11 o'clock but like i said be mindful at the hours i gave you and i'll tell you why because when I give you an hour, right, let's take a look at the daily, it's going to end up in a support or resistance somewhere. It's either going to end up at a price support there or price support there, or let's take a look at the weekly even. Okay, weekly might just retest the lows again. Daily there. Okay, so we might come down to a lower level here. And I've marked this here before, 1731. Where is that coming from? 
1731. Maybe the setup for that changed already. Possibly. So let's get rid of that. Okay. That no longer needs to be here. The system already has its targets. But be mindful at where we're going. At those hours, if you're the support, you need to get in long. If you're the resistance, depending on what you're trading, okay, it'll be a change in market, especially look out for the midday bar. Okay, because until midday, it's, it could be like a rash, sudden movement. That includes cryptocurrencies as well. Right, so all of a sudden we could have a boom move going up, which is logical um, from what I just see here. Okay, so we might be, um, you know, we might have to be a bit more careful on that bar because we're going to see some sudden action uh, on the 10 a.m., 12 p.m. bars. All right, so now let's look at stuff technically. Um, and once again, look, yesterday's astrology. The top, down, from here, up, down. It all worked out, even though it was a really choppy, messy day. Okay, It was a messy day, but we got the turnings right. So as long as you get the turnings right, the market moves in your direction, your, your stop loss is like really tight. And even if you get stopped out by some sudden move like this, okay, because you might have assumed that we're going to close somewhere high at 11 because the market moved up, and that's fair enough. But you would have moved your stop loss up a little bit, you know, and you still would not have had a had a loss. Um, the reason that ended up like this yesterday was because of that nine o'clock thing, and I said, "Be careful on that nine o'clock because it's a um, it was a it was a yeah it was a sudden surprise move." But there you go. All right, so pretty much the turning points were done. And that's also a turning point. And that's a, see, I see a disadvantage by looking at things day to day. It's best to have it on a week to week basis. Like I should sit down on the weekend and get it all done. And thanks to our amazing new software that's coming out soon once we do it, this is going to be like giving us the whole thing. And it's all going to be here. So we're just going to be able to move it around see what's going on in the sky all the time it's really cool so there you go once we get that done as well it's work in process um it should all be honky dory now then let's take a look at technically what we can do technically what we can do is still this if the market pulls down you need to buy at these support resistance levels that's 1686 so the market can still see the lows here again if it does it's a buy level there on the monthly, when you take a look at it, it's, look, it's down. So we might see gold coming down again, and then it will be like, you know, a big, like A, B, C, coming all the way down here. It's a possibility. Okay. So you can't rule it out. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and on the daily, if you're on a PST level, and on a price level, check it out. Because this level of 1750 zone is also a good level um, where the market can give its support 1750. All right, so any pullback here, check your hourly PST levels. If you're down, it's good. And then check the hours astrologically. And then you see that you're the support and your astrology says, yep, that's the time, this rock and roll. Oh. Let's take a look at silver. Now on the weekly, this is not a bad spot. We still got a bit of possibility to come down to test. If it does, you know, your PSTs are your buy levels. On the daily today, a pullback down to the red line is an option. If it does, that's 22.16 for you. And then though, you, there is still on the weekly possibility there. So be mindful and look where they sold off yesterday. I mean, no surprises here. Right, no surprises whatsoever. Okay, and if you look at silver, that's your nine o'clock bar. That's your three o'clock bar there. So at four o'clock, it's just up. And then that's your nine o'clock bar. And then, you know, you're just down. So the astrology worked with this as well. And also we had the levels too. Look, this level I marked in yesterday. So it's not a surprise. So the market can 
start to fall even further. And all you have to do is just follow it through by level, by level, by level. If you want to sell it, if it goes up first, then sell it. Um, or if you want to sell here with a tight stop loss, that's doable because it's just below the opening pivot. Um, I don't like to sell on a support, mind you, but it's doable. Okay, so let's do that. Um, so yeah, selling here and putting a tight stop loss there is good. Uh, if the market goes up suddenly on the 10 o'clock bar, like I said, wait for the 12 o'clock bar because 12 o'clock bar, I'm telling you, it's something you better be looking out for. That includes crypto. Um, let's take a look at SP500. Weekly, nice. Weekly, nice. If you're using ATAM strategy, you would have been long here on the PST. Why? Because that was your weekly last level there. Look, bang, bang. Next week, if you're up here, it's going to be a good buy kiss. You can sell them. All right, so tomorrow's Friday. Let's see what will happen. On the daily today. Oh, look, it's got room to go up. So we're probably going to go up for a good buy kiss next week. Isn't that nice? Somewhere up there would be good. Okay, and that's it. So if you bought here on the weekly low and you're still in the trade, yeah, just follow it through uh, obviously manage your trade what to do now you got to bring your stop loss at least if you entered there you got to bring it at least up to here uh, obviously you should keep it below the daily pivot below this level is actually good just under there is okay so we still got probably room to go up to the weekly pivot and that might happen at the hours that i told you Aussie dollar. Now then, where are we? Come on. Aussie dollar. There we go. Let me just get rid of these um, indicators here. Okay, just keep it nice and clean. So Aussie dollar, where are we? We're still in that range, as you can see. Have we got room to come down? Yeah, I said we've got room to come down here because we broke down that level on the daily where it was below the PST. That's a good buy kiss level. That's a sell level. See how it's all working, guys. Look, PST levels. Okay, so the market went up a little bit. Yesterday, I did say it could go up, but you got to look out for these levels because this is where it's going to turn around again. Right, so for anyone selling... You know, you want to be selling on these PST levels. And look, that was a you know, GAN level as well, or a Fibonacci level, whatever you like to call it. So we're getting into this tight zone here, as you can see, this nice triangle. It's getting tight and tighter. Um, now what to do is a good question. On the Aussie dollar, well, look, one option is to sell it on the line here, which is 38. Okay, which is 72.50. And now oh, look just shy of the weekly yesterday. So you would have kept that in mind for sure. Um, 72.50 is here. So if the market's going to short, this would be your first level to be shorting. Okay. I wouldn't enter heavily on that. Okay, if you're going to short it, just do it reasonably. Do it with a smaller lot size. Um, because I had this push up, and it's either going to retest it to sell again, and you got to keep your stop loss above this 70 level there. Okay. Um, or it's just going to break out, and we're going to start moving up a little bit. Okay, so... In any case, I'd be careful when you're doing this. You can wait for a better setup, I think. Let's take a look at Oz 200. Now, all the indices are going. In the same direction. As you know, um, 
they bought right on the monthly there. So it's like really spot on again. Um, what to do with this? Um, well, not much. You can just wait for a goodbye kiss. There is a goodbye kiss there. Yesterday I said this was going to be a resistance spot. So the market is pretty much doing that. Let me just see where we're at. So this is already over. And that's a good bike is there. So there you go. So this range here, this, 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 this zone is a turnabout range. So it's possible the market will short around here. Should you short on there? Well, you should have if you're using the PST and look, I marked it yesterday. The white line is what I marked yesterday. And this is the weekly pivot too. So is this a good place to turn around? Yeah. Okay. If you're selling here, keep your stop loss tight and be mindful for those hours, the 10 o'clock bar, 12 o'clock bar, four o'clock bar in the evening. And, and uh, yeah, and 6.35 as well. 6.35 is going to be a, um, so, so the six o'clock bar will make a flow push. It'll like, you know, push that move that happens until, and then we'll get to, like I said, the 11 p.m. bar in the evening and close there. So yesterday I said we could end up here, then this would be a sell level. So this could be just a sell level here as well, doing pretty good. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is doing now bitcoin like i said i said we're going to go with a flow today and that's correct so we might head up to this level here and then the market may sell off this is a breakdown so you might have an a b c structure here um and that's it this is your resistance zone look here and here so what to do with this well if you're trading bitcoin i'd use the pst indicator to trade it so if you're going to sell it which i think is logical to do um, you're either going to do it on this line here but which is quite a bit high because it will take you up to what 46.585 oh it's not that high not for Bit uh, bitcoin 46.58 46 far yeah look if it goes up here or the, the weekly pivot um, then that's a sell option there if it doesn't get that far this place is also a sell place if um, around 1240 1240 yeah around 1240 on the 12 o'clock bar if it doesn't move and it's sticking around here i think this might be a good place to short it um, at least until New York. Let's take a look at the euro dollar and call it a day. Now on the euro dollar. Okay, so on the euro dollar, what do we got? Same setup. Look, yesterday I said this was a good sell zone here. If you took it, good on you. Okay, so it's not much to talk about. It was a PST level, and you know PST levels. You know, you know how they work. Look, we marked this yesterday. Okay, so you shouldn't be surprised. The market's got potential to go down. Oh, look, it's come down. There you go. So there you go. It's right there. And we can still be going down with this, okay? As you can see, the market's pushing down. So you'd be short from here to here. And that's it. What else to do here on a monthly? Let's take a look. Yeah, we've got targets down there. So it's possible that as the market goes up, it's good to sell, okay? Um, that's about it. It's not much else I can tell you here tomorrow is going to be interesting guys tomorrow we're going to have some interesting aspects uh, both in the morning like mid-morning and in the afternoon so tomorrow also be very careful in the in the market 
Um, one's going to be, I think, 2 p.m. bar, and the other one's going to be 10 a.m. bar my time. Be mindful tomorrow. I'm telling you, tomorrow is also going to be tricky. Um, let's do that. Okay. So we should be at turning points as well tomorrow. Okay, so be mindful. Okay, so we could stall around here maybe, and then we'll see how that goes. But, you know, look out for the aspects, hours that I mentioned. If we're somewhere low, when, um, you know, when the aspect hours occur, buying is an option. If somewhere high, selling is an option. So this has got, again, if you took technical analysis from me, just slap in there a good buy kiss. All right. And that's it. Right, I hope that helps. If there are any queries, uh, you can always write to me and I will clarify. Have a good one.